ready. All right, it's been a crazy couple of episodes so far. These two episodes, very chill. Um, and it just, it, a lot, one thing I wanted to comment on before we jump into this episode here is a lot of the stuff when seasons, back in the day when seasons were so long, you know, going 24, 25 episodes, a lot of the stuff was just fluff. I think they could accomplish more with less. Um, that's just my opinion. I think I, I, I do prefer, you know, when seasons are like, you know, 13 episodes and just give us one hour episodes. I think you get a lot more accomplished that way. But back in the day, they had to worry about, you know, um, getting advertisement and stuff being ran on the network and stuff like that. So, you know, shows that should, you know, only be, I mean, you're only getting like, you know, 35 to 40 minutes of footage anyways. I mean, that seemed like you're sitting there watching the show for an hour, but you know, going through commercials and stuff like this, take it to the full hour, but you're only really getting about 40 minutes, you know, um, of the show. You know what I mean? Um, uh, if you look at most of these, most of these episodes are like 40 minutes. So you get at that much and, and between going through that and, and, the, the you know, the previously unlost, you know what I'm saying? You get, <laughs> close like like 40 minutes right so i i love the new thing that they're doing now whether you're gonna drop the entire season on whatever platform you know whatever streaming platform or whatever the situation is um it works it works i think that way i think we're transitioning as well into that new age of tv where whether it's on demand on like hulu you know you watch the episode episodes drop every week still even though they have the whole season prepared because it's not like it's not like these people out here still filming like back then when they used to still be filming whilst while the season is going on sometimes you get what i'm saying that used to happen um not for every show but for a lot of times with the shows that you know what i'm saying like they they essentially record the entire season in like a, a, a certain amount of months time right and sometimes because the seasons were so long it would run into the fact that when the season started right um like in the fall or whatever the situation is they would still be filming and stuff for like the end episodes of the season and stuff like that it will kind of roll into each other because these people it's not like they're you know doing this all year round they take breaks like everybody else they take breaks from work you know while the season is going on they got to do promos for the season they got to go do talk shows they got to go do this you know look pretty and go do the promo so it is what it is but i think i like the format that we have nowadays better for newer shows you know do a short season drop the whole season or you know do it week by week still but still a short season but you get a full one hour episode um or even you know 50 minutes whatever the situation is it just works you get what i'm saying um so uh when a lot of times you watch certain episodes and even though there's still information in them there's a lot of fluff that's you know what it is like it's it's not easy to go 20 you know 20 25 episodes and not have something. It, it, I mean, how how long are you going to stretch out the storyline? <laughs> you know what I mean? There's got to be some fluff there. And I, I I think the last episode, was it absolutely necessary? In some ways, yes. Um, some things that happened were necessary. But it, others, it's like them just going like a slice of life episode, as we call them. Anyways, let's jump into the reaction. I'll see you guys for the review. <laughs> hey, Jack, you see my boy when you were out there? No, he was at the caves. Yeah, he took his dog for a walk. Told him to stay close as usual. You listen to your old man when you attend, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I listen maybe a little too well. This is the one. This is definitely my baby's crib. Uh -huh. Oh, finally we get Beautiful. to see what happened. It will look great in the uh, alley we'll be living in. This is three months' rent. Oh! 
I know you're excited, but Michael, we can't afford this. Our baby in this crib? Come on. That's a happy kid. <laughs> hey, I talked to Andy. He said he could throw some work my way. I'm just gonna take a break until you finish law school. Pass the bar, get hired by some fancy-ass, high paying law firm. <laughs> Somebody's got it all figured out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for her. Painting eventually. Meanwhile, you can support me and Walt in a manner to which we'll soon become accustomed. Walt, huh? I'd like to do that, you know? Name him after my dad. Well, Walter Lloyd. Lloyd? Oh, all right. That's why you won't marry me. It's not that you think marriage is too prosaic. You just want him to have your last name. Hey, you want me to agree to Walter or what? Well, when you're already a bitch. <laughs> yes, I'm pausing this early. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> okay, so now we figured out why she eventually left him. Because possibly... I mean, with all that, what he's talking about, this man has, I hate to say it, but he's a beta. <laughs> he's a beta by all, by all means. <laughs> How are you sitting here depending or waiting on your wife to finish law school or they're not married yet, right? But. You're waiting on her to finish law school so you can t so she can take care of y'all, so you don't have to have a job. What are you a hippie? And so you can do art, man. If you don't get off your ass and go do something, focus on it. All right, picture it in your mind's eye. You know yeah, how it is, right? The mind's eye. Like a picture in your head. Or... That's right. Now do it again, but see it. See it before you do it. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! I knew you had it in you, Walt. It was weird. I actually saw it in my mind or something. Like it was real. Who's to say it wasn't? Hey! What the hell is going on? So dangerous. You gave my boy a knife. You should have seen what... Hey, don't tell me what I should have seen, man. We were back home, I'd call the police on your ass. Encouraging a kid to sneak away from his parents? Giving him a knife like this? Walt knows his own mind. Hey, don't talk to me about my son like you know him. You really need to calm down. You keep playing my son against me. And I'm gonna have a... The man said calm down. What are you, his attack easy, 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 easy. You're the one that was waving the knife around. He was just trying to make sure you didn't hurt someone. You know why he's formed an attachment to me? Because I treat him like an adult. You still treat him like a boy. He's 10 years old. He's been through more than most people in their entire lifetimes. You haven't spent enough time with him to see it, but he's different. As long as we're here, I think Walt should be allowed to realize his potential. I mean, both of them are speaking kind of facts. You need to kind of stop cuddling him. Stay away from but at the same time, he's still his father, though. Like, if he, if he's like, yo, don't do that with my son, you know, if I decide that he needs to learn that, then I can teach it to him. All right, so baby is born. Not taking him. You're not taking my son. You can go if you want to, but Walt stays with me. You're talking about going to What's her name again? Just you and Is him. it Allison Tyler? I, ca I can't. For Michael and that's What's her name is. again? You said you were happy. Well, what about the legal clinic being a good fit? You you said oh, that's that. not this Allison a Tyler. Opportunity. You know I've always wanted to do international law. Am I supposed to be happy for you over here for your huge opportunity? So why don't you just go with her? I thought that was we said a, a lot of things. You said you wanted to live on a boat. <laughs> I still love you. Hey, we got problems, right? That's what people have. You want to go to counseling? I'm down with that. Let's go. All right? You already took it, didn't you? Yeah, because their car, their career is more important. <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? Never. <laughs> in months. I'll provide for him. I'll give him everything he needs. Except for his dad. He's not going with you. So, no. You really want to argue with me about this? Hell yes. There are laws against this kind of thing. We are not married, Michael. I'm his mother and I'm steadily employed. Who do you think the court's going to side with? Ouch. 
<laughs> and this is the reason why this is this is the reason why it ain't even about him being out here in the jungle. He's got skills. Right? He's got skills, but he didn't he's not taking charge of the situation. From the way how you hear him talk, he you know what I'm saying, he's the he's the kind of guy that's like, oh it's fifty fifty or whatnot. But at the end of the day, you put her on the pedestal. You put her out there for she for her to do something like this. Cause you see, I'm not saying that when a when a woman is making more than you that she can't still um submit. But you're the one that didn't demand that um submission. You didn't ask her for it. You basically put her as the head of the, the household from the first scene that we saw. You basically told her what is going to happen. And when that happened, what do you think was going to happen? Hypergamy is a real thing, my friend. Women don't want, don't necessarily want to be with men that they're making more money than. Especially in a situation like this, you didn't even marry her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just so much going on here that proves that he's just not, he's just not that guy even in the relationship he's just not that guy and it's like yes and this is what practically happens women will do this and then they regret it later now you want to listen in this situation he was in the wrong in the first place but now you know she making this decision as in taking his father out of his life for the kids when kids come in the picture you parents you're not the priority anymore the kids are the priority you gotta make the decision what's best for them oh i'll give him everything that he needs except for his dad that's very true what he said he's speaking facts both of them making good points as i said right but you can't take the kid away from his father because of your job man you gotta figure something out to let him still be present yeah you don't have to be with him because he's he's you know what i'm saying he's not the best dude or whatever the situation is like he's not the best dude obviously he's not the best dude you know what i'm saying you gotta get something done that's steady you gotta get something done find a regular job whatever the situation is so that you have some sort of leverage in the relationship as the man I don't care what other people may say. As I've talked about in the last couple of episodes, traditional gender roles um, are there for a reason, man. There's things that women are good at. There's stuff that men are just good at. And we all got to play the roles of it. Don't, stop trying to do things that you're not compatible to do or because you're a human being too. You feel like, okay, if he can do it, I can do it too. It doesn't work like that. Kids need both their parents. They have a higher success rate. It doesn't mean that it can't fail as well. But it has a very, that child has a very high chance of being successful in life when they have both parents present. The statistics have proven it time and time and time again. When you are fatherless, especially when you're fatherless, you are more likely to go to, to go to, to make bad decisions to go to jail you're more likely to be homeless you're more likely to end up in the worst situations in the world when you're especially when your father is not present in your life the statistics has proven it now people can argue and say oh you're a product of your environment that environment does include your father and your father will instill if you're a good dad will instill certain values inside of you that you're not going to get from your mother. I promise you that. Because men and women view the world differently. Period. That's just how it is. Sorry. Women, your emotions are all over the place. Mother, fathers, a lot more logical. It's just what it is. Anyways. And... <laughs> He's probably been trying to. I wonder why he went to get it. When why he went to get his. I heard. That, I don't remember. Did he say that she died? I don't remember. It's not goodbye forever. Just don't know how to talk to him. How to get him to. You know, understand. I'm on his side. I missed his whole childhood. So.
can't happen. You can't grow up here. Mm. <laughs> can't grow up in this place. Unfortunately, you really don't have a choice on that matter right now. It's got to make do. I assume the French will. But when I lay the pages down like this, I realized it wasn't showing the location of the island. I think it's a location on the island, specifically here. So where are we in relation to the triangle? Well, the map is hardly at scale, so I don't know. We're not even sure it's a map of this island, are we? What are we talking about doing now? Looking for another excuse to get chased down and killed by whatever lives in the jungle? Guys, we can't keep doing this. Yeah, we need to get off this island. You think any of us want to be here? No, but I don't think anyone wants to get off as much as I do right now. So are you suggesting something? Yeah. We build a raft. You don't even know what's out there. You're just going to go out in the middle of the sea on, on a raft. They float. And we got an axe and a whole bunch of trees, bamboo. <laughs> we can do this. The chances of surviving the rough waters, the odds of finding a shipping lane. And I get really seasick. You know what? Great. Stay here. Yo! This guy has the wrong type of optimism. Foolish optimism. Let me talk to him. He's 21 months old. He doesn't use the phone. I I'll do all the talking. I just want him to hear my voice. I miss him. I know. Uh, let me call you back, okay? This isn't a good time. Buddy, gotta go. Shh, it's Michael. I know. I mean, Who's that? Uh, let's talk tomorrow, okay? I'll call you for more. What the hell is going on? What did I tell you, bro? I've been seeing someone. Now have been. You what? been seeing someone. You moved away with this dude. Does it make any difference? Who is it? Brian Porter. The guy who hired you. It wasn't like that before. So, so when you yeah, right. Think about yeah, us, yeah you right. No, I did. No. Really yeah, okay, right. Michael, don't. It's over I'm not coming for you. I'm getting my son back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Put everything you find in different piles so we can take stock. Am I being punished? What you think working with your old man is punishment? Oh man. This is us taking control of our destiny. Feels like fun, huh? I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, okay. Could you bring me some? Please? Please and thank you. Gotta work on that. Hi. So you guys just gonna keep coming back without any food? Hey, I'm serious. Uh-huh. Shannon, you've been a functioning bulimic since junior high. I thought you'd be excited about dropping a size or two. Well, since you're not having any luck with the honey, maybe you should help Michael. He's building a raft. Why don't you help me? No thanks. That man has had an epiphany. He's like, you can't just sweet talk me into doing shit for you no more. You're I'm over you. You're dead to me. <laughs> He's not the boss of me. Then he cares about you and you need to show him respect. I'm serious, Walt. You're not to come to me anymore. I was just coming to I see I told you to stay away from my son. He didn't. I would just well, give I don't some... want to hear from you. I was just giving him this pencil to give to you. I thought you could use it. Consider it a, a peace offering. I get you with my son again. I'll kill you. You're a jerk. What'd you say to me? Mr. Lag didn't do anything wrong. He's my friend. He's not anymore. I'm looking out for you. You don't care about me. You never cared about me. What? You only show up after my mom died? Where were you when I was growing up, huh? No way. It's, it's complicated. I don't even care. You're not my father. Ouch. You want to hate me? You want to punish me for something I can't change? Fine. But you will listen to me. Now, you get over there. And you stay there. What happened to his mom? That's what I want to know. What the hell happened to her? That's really wonderful. Oh, thanks. For my son. He's gonna be two next week. Yeah? I didn't know you have a kid. Yeah. 
Yeah. He lives in Amsterdam with his mom. About a joke. I don't know. What kind of joke? How about what's black, white, and red all over? Yeah, newspaper, right? A penguin with a sunburn. <laughs> That's really tough. <laughs> Trust me, mother of four talking here. He'll get a kick out of it. <laughs> That's not Allison Tyler. Um, I'm thinking about somebody else. I can't remember her name. Yeah, well, considering how our last conversation went. I'm so sorry about that. Are you, though? No, no, he's at home. The nurses say you're expected to make a full recovery. Yeah, after a year of physical therapy. A year? What is this about? Brian and I are getting married. The fuck? She doesn't even believe in marriage. No, you don't have to say anything. Just listen. Brian's taking over the firm's Rome offices. Sounds like Brian's on a roll. And he wants to adopt Walt. Nigga, what? I will punch you in the face. This... <sighs> mm. Mm. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying to control myself because... You set yourself up for failure. He set himself up for failure. That that whole thing he he talked about when he was in the store with her while she was pregnant. Oh, I'm waiting on you to give me to to you know you know uh, graduate from law school and some fancy firm take you up so you know we can live off of you or some shit like that. You set yourself up for failure in this relationship, sir. And I can't, it's hard for me to feel sorry for you. But at the same time, even though you set yourself up for failure, you do not deserve this. You don't deserve this. Subsequently, all of this is a result of that decision by marrying a woman that's not submissive in, well, he didn't marry her. I keep saying that he married her. Being with a woman who's not submissive in any way, that's not going to look up to you for anything in any way. So you already put yourself in a bad position by you being submissive to her will. So at any minute, she could just get up and leave with your son, which is what she did. You know, then you mentioned that she doesn't believe in marriage. She didn't want to marry you. And when a woman don't want to marry you, bro, leave. Leave, man. Leave. A kid was already in. A kid was already involved. You should have been planning like this is how it's going to go because I can't be with you. We can't be together, so we gonna figure something out. I'm gonna bust my ass. I'm gonna get this done, right? Imagine, imagine you supporting someone, the mother of your child, throughout all of what she wants to do. And then when you're looking for her support, she is nowhere to be found because now she sees you. She does not respect you anymore. And I can bet you my entire life savings she was screwing around with, 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 with Brian or whatever his name is before she left him, before she left with the son. That was the reason because she was already in love with somebody else. Right, she was already seeing somebody. I said it before, before it was revealed. She was already, I'm telling you, bro. Almost a hundred percent of the time, this is what happens because I pergamy. Now she married somebody, she now she's going to marry somebody that's what making equal or more than hers. Hypergamy is a real thing, don't forget it. The whole adopting his son, nah, we ain't going for that. Let me hear how he responds to this. I know this is hard, but just think about it. You can keep holding on if you want, but ask yourself why you're doing that. Is it really for him? Or is it Are you me? trying to reason with me about my own son right now? What? About somebody else you adopting my son? I know where he's gone. Where the hell is he? What? I'm not in the mood for your games, man. Where's Walt? Walt's not here, Mike. Don't lie to me. Hey, man, he's not here. Look around. I'm not talking to you. I told him this morning that he couldn't be around me anymore. 
Trying to respect your wishes. Let's go find your boy. I mean, I have a journal. If somebody reads my journal, I could give two shits. <laughs> I mean... For all I know, my girl reads my journal anyways. I, I don't really care if she does or not. Vincent! Good. You should have seen him trying to weasel his way out. Anything not to let the case go forward. He was arguing it wasn't his jurisdiction. Oh, you're kidding me. I wish I was. Same argument third time in a row. You okay? I think I'm feeling kind of fluey. Shouldn't we be studying birds of Egypt yeah, or something? sleeping much lately. Maybe you need to take a personal day. Leave me in, <laughs> That's too much. Hey, Brian, advice. look. Look. Not looking. Oh my god. A bird just flew into the That's okay. weird. Susan, know you here, man. Susan died yesterday. Shit. She uh, <clears throat> turns out she had a, a blood disorder. She was only sick for about a week. She Sit had down. sickle cell. The hell? Uh, and Walt? How's he? Uh... Yeah, he's fine. He's uh, he's back home with his nanny. But you you left him home after he just lost his mother? Before she died, S Susan, she told me she wanted you to have custody of Walt. She what? I've been his father in nine years. Yeah. That's kind of the thing. And I, I was honest with her from the beginning, but she, she wouldn't hear it. Hear what? That I didn't want. I didn't kids. want to be a father. Right? I just don't know how. Hey, what the hell are you talking about, man? You adopted him. Yes, yes, I did. Because she wanted that, and I wanted her. And these are two tickets. It's one round trip, the other one way. Sydney to New York. The envelope has money in it for travel expenses. Okay. Don't you want to? I'm supposed that? to give a damn about you. Hey, I just lost the woman I love, all right? I can't be his father. Now you shut up, bitch! What the hell are you talking about? You're the only father he knows. It's more than that. Well, then what? There's just there's something about him. <laughs> Sometimes when he's around, things happen. What the hell would? Walt? Yes, sir. What's that? Something I think Walt should have. It's not a dead bird. <laughs> oh, all the letters. It's probably all the letters he wrote. I can't explain how sorry I am about your mom. You should know that we, uh, hey, we loved each other very much when we had you. Hey, Walt, can I? Uh, I know this is really hard to understand all this. Brian loves you very much. And he wants you to stay with him, but it's not his choice. It's mine. I'm your legal guardian. Dad! Hey, Walt! Dad! Dad! Where are you, Dad? Hang on! Dad! Walt! Dad! Don't deny Dad! Hey, are you okay? Dad! Are you okay? Sure. Okay, lock now! I'm just glad you're safe. But Vincent, he ran off again. He found his way back to you once, Walt. He will again. What's his name, Michael? Yeah. Behind his back, that wasn't cool. Every card. 
Every letter I sent you over the last eight years. You wrote me? Mm-hmm. Why didn't she give them to me? I don't know. But she didn't throw them away either, which means, you know, somewhere inside she wanted you to have them. A penguin with a sunburn? <laughs> That's dumb. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. <laughs> Said, you have to hear this. What is that? It's Claire's diary. You're reading her diary? Yeah, I know. I'm bloody scum. Just listen to this. I had that weird dream again, the one with the black rock I can't get away from. I tried to leave it, but it won't let me. The triangle on the map. Maybe it's the triangle on the map. Maybe it's where Claire was taken. Maybe she's there. Maybe. Charlie, we all want to find Claire. But there's no sense going out into the jungle in the middle of the night. You might go, though. Don't think that whistle's working, John. You can't hear everything, Bone. The sooner you learn that, the better. Well, I heard that. Benson. Claire? Claire? Good times. That was a good episode. I like that episode. Got in my emotions there a little bit because I really do feel for, you know, um, for men out there that are, you know, go through the same thing with, with women, you know, that they love, you know, women, they do things, they, you know, they may start to make a lot of money and they might end up making more money than you. And then they lose their respect for you. And they're probably screwing somebody behind your back. And it goes around and around and around and around. Like, you should look at the stats for this. It's ridiculously ridiculous. Shouldn't be happening, but it does happen, okay? Uh, my hair is all over the place today. I, I, I don't know what's happening with my hair. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just, it just, this side of my hair just feels like it's not going to comply today. <laughs> I'm just like, I, right, bro. Um, but this episode really brings me back to the age old tale of just understanding why we are in the times that we live in when it comes on to modernness. Um, men and women alike have changed. You know, you have a, there's, a lot of things when it comes on and a lot of times when i talk about this i'm talking about um the western world or i should say most a, a lot of first world countries so like you're talking about australia um the uk um united states of america canada you know places where you know this whole a, a lot of I, ideologies and stuff like that to come into place it's like everybody's out here trying to 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 blame the patriarchy for everything and all of these other buzzwords that you know you know the ones you know what i'm saying and it, i have just come to the conclusion that the world is just going nuts because nobody really knows what what they want they don't it, it's like certain concept we're, we're trying to change the meaning of words is it is it, it, just so many different things going on in society today that you really do have to ask yourself what is going on you know what i mean um when it comes on to the court system forget about it when it comes on to um family court and things having to do with custody of children and stuff like that the mom 99 percent of the time will always get cost custody i don't know why but that's just that's just how it is whatever they they came up with i think a lot of this stuff is made to put men in the you know what i'm saying and they're not even thinking they're not even thinking about changing these laws even though we know that the majority of women is in the workplace these days you get what i'm saying in in general a lot of the women are in the workplace these days a lot of them want careers we got girls Eh, start an only fans make millions of dollars you know what i'm saying it's it's crazy to me that the way how society treats men especially in this country that i'm living in in america it's like men have no worth 
you get what i'm saying yes you have that one percent that succeed top of the top man you know running the country whatever the situation is right you have those dudes i'm talking about your average dude that you will meet every day that you see it every day you know what i'm saying like those are the men i'm talking about they have i mean no respect whatsoever and a lot of times you can make the argument that it's a product of their environment, yes, but also there's a reason why you have so many things like going on on YouTube right now where you see a lot of um, a lot of men content creators, male content creators, right? You have a lot of them talking about this stuff and how downhill the society is getting. And then you had also on the other side of things, a lot of the younger generation as well, these young men are not speaking up about it. They, they don't go against the grain. They try to be as politically correct as possible. When we know they're thinking differently, we know they're thinking differently because that stuff that people talk about, it is not logical. There's no logic to it. There's none. It's all based on feelings. It's, it's all feelings. Okay. There's no logic to it. And if you're a real man that think logically, that look at the situation for what it is and actually dissect it, you will realize that there's a lot of lo logic there, right? You realize that you can logically dismantle a lot of these stupid arguments that people have when they want to push an agenda. Just how it is, right? So when I watch something like this and I see how it's portrayed and this was back in the day what was this 2004 you know what i'm saying 2004 i mean this was 2004 before all of this uh, this this other stuff that we've gone through in the last like five years or 10 years all of this stuff that's been that that's been going on that's not that's we're, we're in 2022 and it's only it's only gotten worse i didn't even know that this stuff you know what i'm saying like i'm talking about knowledge is extremely important man because it, it's so important to know because back then um 2004 is the year that i came that i came to this country it was 2004 was the year i came here right so it hasn't been 20 years since i've been here yet right it hasn't been 20 years and i've been through enough shit since i've been here right but in some situations when it comes on to this country and how i've seen how things have just ramped up i've just ramped up over the years you know what i'm saying just coming through coming through coming through that's just, it's just craziness after the next craziness and every time it seems like things were going to correct itself it just seems to get worse you know, and in a situation like this, where I understand where that Walt wasn't there, it wasn't his fault why he wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? He was basically pushed in a corner. Mind you, he's not blameless in this situation because he's the one that chose this. He put her on a pedestal. That stuff shouldn't even matter. You're going to do what you got to do. To make sure that your family is okay it ain't on her and you should never put that on a woman because as soon as a woman start making more money than you she loses respect for you 99 percent of the time that woman is not going to want to be with you anymore hypergamy is a real thing okay it is a real thing women even either want you on their level or better than them simple and and trust me they've tried it they've tr they've tried it they've tried to be in relationship with with dudes that they're making more, more money than it never ends up going anywhere well, i don't want to say never but it's a very low per, per it, it, the, the percentages are, are very low for that success for it to succeed you know what i'm saying it's very low because because it's hard for women to 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 stay submissive to a man that's not in command that's not in charge and and for the most part most men there's not gonna be in charge they're not gonna put their foot down if she's bringing if she's bringing in most of the bread right if she's bringing in most of the bread 
it's very hard for you for you to put your foot down and 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 talk and and tell her anything <laughs> you know what i'm saying and tell her anything and that's what makes it most of the time not being successful right so this episode kind of triggered me a little bit you know what i'm saying it triggered me a little bit because i have a lot of friends that go through similar situations where they're trying to just be a father to their kid especially when it's a situation where their mom deliberately leaves the relationship or cheated or something like that and they just have this thing where it's just like oh the mom should still get the kids even though probably she's not even working and not doing anything and i'm the, still the one i'm still the one that's working i'm still the one that's providing whatever and because we split she still gets custody that's preposterous to me I understand that women have, you know, they nurture. I get all of that. If I was supposed to choose between, you know what I'm saying? Who, if, if I should leave my, my, my kid in the care of women or in the care of men, I'm going to choose the women every time because they know how to nurture. But in certain situations, it's not always the best decision for the child. It's not always the best decision for the child. I think what the law should say is that no. You if the if the if the dad wants to be in the kid's life, you got to allow that. I don't care what you have to say. And he's not going to support your lifestyle with child support either. Right? I think they should they should have a a, a solid law about what's taken into consideration when it comes down to where the kids should go or who should have custody not necessarily full custody i don't i think full custody is 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 should only be in cases of like abuse you get what i'm saying in case of like abuse or um another example would be um like if you know what i'm saying the, the dad is like in and out of jail or or something like that you get what I'm saying? Like those extreme situations where there's probably domestic abuse or something of the sort. You get what I'm saying? Like to the extreme where, you know, the dad is probably hurting the mom or something like that. And they have to split and they get full. Scu- I think that's the only time that full custody should be considered and not even considered that it's a must. Right. But. In regular situations where it's just like, okay, he's still providing. You guys don't like each other anymore. I think they should be forced to have split custody. Whereas in, you got him for three days, I got him for three days. Or whatever. Or we share a Sunday together or some shit like that. But there gotta be shared custody. In those situations always. And it's not gonna be, oh, we're just gonna get child support and support you. Like, I I think... The fact of the matter is that you split, both of you guys should go live each other's lives separately and we come together to take care of the kid. You're putting, you know, we hold both of these parents accountable for the child. You go work, you bring in a thousand, you go work, you bring in a thousand. That $2,000 goes towards the child. I think that's how it should work, but no, we can't do that. We can't, we we can't do that, (laughs) but anyways. Not to get too much into that side of things. Don't want to get too political because people always get weird, weirded out. (laughs) But whatever the situation is, I think that's just how it should work. And I feel for this. um, I feel for Walter a lot when it comes on, not Walter, but he was in the middle of it. And I do feel for him. But at the same time, it's like he don't understand what his mom did. You know what I'm saying? He don't understand what his mom did. But in any case, you get the point. Both of them was wrong in some certain things that they do. I think that I think Michael should have been more assertive in his, in the in this relationship, and he wasn't. He was a soy boy, man. Like let's just be honest. He was he was soft. You know what I'm saying? He was soft, and you can see it. I used to be that guy. I used to be that guy, man. And I. I, I had to break out of that. I had. I'm so glad that I've broken out of that. It was a soy boy, man. I was a soy boy too. 
you know what i'm saying just taking shit from 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 women and stuff like that putting them on a pedestal not anymore anyways this was an incredible episode man loved it the acting was great um i don't remember that lady's name and i can't remember i can't remember her name and i've watched her in other shows as well i've watched her in other shows as well um but i can't remember her name it's not allison tyler um or ashley tyler or whatever her name is um if you guys know who i'm talking about a tall lady man i think she's like over six feet if i remember correctly she's very tall the lady that i'm talking about but that's not her they they look similar but this girl is from um uh, i'm trying to remember we have seen, i've seen her in another tv show as well that used to um i, I just can't remember what it what it is <laughs> right now but i'll probably look it up anyways this was an incredible episode hopefully you guys enjoyed me ranting on and on and on and whatever it is what it is leave a like leave a comment <laughs> catch you guys for the next one man peace